This tutorial is brought to you by Squarespace. Hello and welcome to Storesia. It's nice to see you here and I hope you do well. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful cinematic text animation. And I'll show you how to animate the text in and out. We're going to start inside Adobe Premiere and then use dynamic linking to further animate the text inside Adobe After Effects. And by the way, I will also show you how to save this as a preset in After Effects so you can reuse this for other titles as well. Are you ready to do some editing? Ok, let's move over to Premiere. Inside Premiere I've already got this beautiful drone shot on the timeline. We're going to start by adding a text layer on top of this clip. We can do this with the type tool which you can enable here or click the T key to enable it. Then left click somewhere in the program monitor and you can start typing. I will type Faroe Islands and then head over to the Essential Graphics panel to center and align the text. For this tutorial I'm using the so-called Poirot 1 font. You can find this one on Adobe Fonts and install this one for free if you have an active subscription. Now before you're going to use dynamic linking I would recommend to choose a duration for the text animation. And that's because it's a little harder to change once it is an After Effects composition. Ok, now let's say that this is the duration that we want for our text animation. We can now right click on the text layer and then select replace with After Effects composition. This will automatically start up After Effects and you will be prompted with the question where to save your project file. You can now simply select a folder for the After Effects project file and click save. And then inside After Effects we've got our composition here on the timeline. Double click on the composition to open up the text layer. Next we'll go into the text layer and then we'll find the animate option here. We can now left click on this animate button and then enable per character 3D. Now that we've enabled the 3D option for the text layer we can add some more properties. We'll start by adding position properties and then we'll also add rotation. We're going to add one more and that is the blur animate property. Ok, now you can find all these properties here under Animator 1 and we're going to start by adjusting the position. I will change the Z position value and zoom in on the characters until they are completely out of the screen. If you hold the shift button combined with the left mouse button you can adjust it a lot faster. Next we'll dive into the range selector properties and enable keyframes for the offset by clicking on the stopwatch icon. We're going to set the last keyframe to value 100 and this one is at the point of around 2 seconds. And then we're going to move back to the beginning and set that keyframe to minus 100. And with these two keyframes we've now created this animation. We only want the characters to animate in, so that is what we're going to adjust in the advanced section. To achieve this we need to set the shape to ramp up. This will make them animate in only. And that will look something like this. And then to make this all a bit more smoother we're going to set the ease low to 100%. This will make the animation ease in and that will look like this. I will also enable the option for randomize order. This will make the characters show up randomly. In the next step I'm going to add a bit of rotation. I will first close the advanced options and then move the playhead somewhere here in the middle of the animation. We can now simply increase the rotation value. I like this to be somewhere around 30 degrees for this effect. And as you can see, rotation is only present at the beginning of the animation. Once the character has arrived on its final position, the rotation is gone. And finally, we're going to add a bit of fake out of focus blur. Let's start with 25 and see how that looks. Here you could see some blur, but to my taste we could add a bit more. Of course, you can just play around with the numbers to see what gives the best result. Ok, I think we're done for this part, let's see what we've got so far. Next I'm going to show you how you can make this all animate out. First we're going to close the layer and then move the playhead somewhere in the middle. And then hit Ctrl plus Shift plus D to split the layer. Now we can open up the second layer and then move over to the advanced properties. And there we're going to change the shape from ramp up to ramp down. And then move the offset keyframes to the end and voila, there it is. And if you feel that the animate out part takes a little too long, then you can play around with the keyframes to make it all a little shorter. 
And if I now switch back to Premiere, you can see that all the animations are present inside Premiere on the timeline. If you want to know how to save this as a preset and use this for other titles, then stay tuned, because I'm going to tell you all about it after the message from our sponsor Squarespace. If you want to build your own website or web store, then definitely check out Squarespace. I've used them for over a year now and I can definitely say that it's easy to start with their award-winning templates, even if you don't have any experience with web design. And your Squarespace site will look great on any device, like a PC, tablet or a smartphone. Use the link squarespace.com slash Torisium to get a free trial or a 10% discount on your first purchase. Links can be found in the video description. Ok, so how can we save the title animations as a preset? First, you need to open up the text layer and select the animator. Next, you need to go up to Animation and then click on Save Animation Preset. It is best to stick with the default folder and then give your preset a name and click Save. Now when you have your next title in After Effects, you can just go to Animation and then go to Recent Animation Presets. As you can see, the preset is listed here, but if it's not in the recent presets, you can go to Apply Animation Preset, then choose your preset and click Open. And now the animation is applied to your title. Please note that the animation is applied at the point of the playhead. To show you what I mean, I'm going to undo the preset for now, then move the playhead somewhere here and then apply the preset. Now the animation will start here. So keep that in mind if you apply a preset. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please like the video. That really helps a lot. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.